Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today on Habitat Hints we're going to talk about some invasive species, but one in particular we're going to be talking about that we haven't touched on is Johnson grass. And I'm actually going to be here with MDC's Kyle Hedges and he's going to tell us a little bit about Johnson grass and what you can do to treat it and how you can get rid of it. So if you're having problems with it, we can help you out. So let's turn this around and talk with Kyle and learn more all about this invasive species. All right, Kyle, so today we're talking Johnson grass, correct? Yep, so, not, a, not my favorite subject, but yeah. here we are. <laughs> how are, how, you mean, this is a little invasive uh, thing that I feel like most people around the state have problems with. What is the best way to get rid of it, and why is it so one of those invasives that just take over? Yeah, let's kind of start with, you know, what the problem is. It is all over the state, and in a lot of cases, people just don't worry about it. Uh, but if you're really trying to improve habitat, you're trying to, to have ideal habitat, whether it's for deer, turkeys, quail, rabbits, whatever you're after, a species like this that shouldn't be here is crowding out important species that we do want. So, you know, this is Johnson grass right here, this kind of light, mm -hmm. light green colored grass. Uh, it's from Africa, not supposed to be here. It's a warm season grass, which means it grows the strongest in the middle of the summer. Um, so it's really coming on strong right now when, other, when a lot of other vegetation is struggles, especially in a drought, and it's really not bothering this grass. So it can really take over and it can crowd out all our desirable plants. Um, some control methods, uh, there's, a, there's some chemicals out now on the market that are ideal. They've, they've been designed just to con control Johnson grass. Um, there's one, if you have Johnson grass in a native grass field, Native grasses are also warm season grasses. So you gotta spray certain chemicals that won't kill the native grasses, but will kill the Johnson grass. One in particular is called Outrider. Um, it'll target the Johnson grass and leave the, the native grasses alone. Uh, another, if you have fescue, uh, a non-native cool season grass, you can mix a little more Outrider, just follow the label, and actually target the, the fescue as well. So reduce that, help out your natives. Uh, another chemical is called Plateau. Uh, it's a little more gentle on the desirable wildflowers in a field, but it'll really attack the Johnson grass and also, again, won't hurt the, the native grasses that are out there. Now, the Johnson grass, pretty easy to spread, right? I mean, is this from birds, you know, and eating yeah. the seeds and stuff kind of thing? Or how, how, how does this go about? Do we even have an idea on this? Or All of the above. So, yep, it gets spread by, by seed from birds. It gets uh, some level the wind, of course, can, can disperse seeds. Um, but I tell you one, we're our own worst enemy sometimes, equipment. So we may brush hog through an area or be riding a four-wheeler through an area on your property and you go through this and you get some of these seeds come off the heads and they end up in your equipment. And then you drive maybe to the next field that doesn't have Johnson grass and that stuff slowly shakes and falls off. So Lots of times you'll see it along roadways. You see that down the highways oftentimes and MoDOT spray in some of it. So we're, we can be our own worst enemies. We really need to clean off equipment. If we know we've been in a contaminated field, we need to clean off equipment before we move to our next field. And that's why, probably a big reason why it's so easy to spread. I mean, without us even really realizing it and knowing about it, it's something you can transfer to one field, the next field, the next field, and same way with the birds and everything else. Absolutely, well, and, and even I'm not, not, don't want to beat up the cattle for it. Uh, they're just eating what they eat, but uh, they can spread it as well. They will consume Johnson grass at, at certain stages, but you know if they're if they're getting some of it that does have seed in it, mm -hmm. or it gets in their hooves, uh, muddy conditions, they can spread that seed all around as well, or deposit it in their manure. So there's just a lot of avenues for it to be spread. Is it pretty difficult to get rid of? I mean, will fire make fix the problem or does it just have to be treated it, like you it has said? to be treated with chemical fire it doesn't mind fire at all it, it also grows both from seed and rhizomes so in areas where um, you disc in a field that has Johnson grass in it and breaks up all those rhizomes they all throw up new growth so oh, okay if you disc at the right time of year before winter and those rhizomes are exposed to freezing and thawing, that can kill a lot of those rhizomes. So there can be a tactic if you, if you wanna utilize uh, the freezing and thawing to damage it. Uh, there is a tactic to do that, but at some point, 
you have to use chemical. It's something, I know a lot of people don't want to use herbicide, but when we're dealing with plants that are from another continent, sometimes we just have to bite the bullet. We're going to have to use some level of herbicide to break the cycle. Where can people learn more about how they can treat Johnson grass and get rid of this invasive species? You know, of course, our website always has lots of different information, mdc.mo.gov. But you can also visit with your local um, seed dealers and MFA, um, your fertilizer sales. There's other companies besides MFA out there that sell seed, chemical, fertilizer. They're typically very knowledgeable in these types of things and, and different chemicals and the rates to use uh, to, to conquer Johnson grass. All right, I really appreciate it, Kyle. Thank you very much, and thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to echo what he said. You can check out your our mdc.mo.gov and look, look up Johnson grass and learn how to control this invasive species. You also can uh, chime in and touch base with your private lands conservationists. They will be able to help you out and pinpoint you and point you in the direction where you can get help. Thank you very much for tuning in this afternoon. You all have a great rest of the day.